features capability. This is a long sure. time ago down in Texas, way before you were born. Okay, okay. And my mother, before she died... How old do I look? How, what's that judgment for? Well, my judgment <laughs> is I'm 70. And you're, okay, okay. That was when I was young. And right, you're no, right. way, no uh, way are you that age. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. So like I said, it's a five-minute timer. I've got to believe that any two people can have a conversation. Uh, is there anything that really motivates you? Anything you think is true? Anything you strongly believe? Um, I strongly believe I need to turn down my email. <laughs> anything you want. Because uh, that, that stuff gets in the way. Love your hair, by the way. That's Thank such you. a great color. Thanks. Yeah. It would go with your yeah, it would. top there. Yeah, I thought I'd pop today. Yeah, yeah you are. <laughs> trying to decide... Frankly, I'm working in a political campaign, and I thought at first this must be what you were doing. Oh, no. And then I thought, what a great pop idea. Oh, really? To okay. To engage people in talking about the campaign. So I'll probably take a picture of this before we're done. Sure, but not a problem. that's not really my agenda. I just wanted to see what Go you're for it. To. I'm all for every political Oh, agenda. well, let's... <laughs> as long as uh, you're positive. No, I, I don't want to talk politics. I've been dealing with politics all day. I know, right? Uh, I strongly believe... That anything that you think is really yeah, I should be everyone should do anything that like the that. The community, mm. whether that's Lexington, the larger U.S. or whatever, community needs to. Um, oops, I don't want to word this. Uh, make a much greater priority in helping people uncover their innate abilities and help them develop those to their fullest. Whoa, that that is a mouthful. Yes, it is. It sounds like you. Can I try rephrasing that? Yeah, sure. You want you want every single person in Kentucky to go out and try to make people reach their full potential? Well, they don't have to go out. They can do it in their family. They can oh, do it okay. in their neighborhood. They can do it in their children's schools. They can do it in their church. Okay, they okay. They can do it in a pub. They can do it in a bar, although usually that doesn't work real well. You want to knock that out real quick? <laughs> so the goal of this is just to have a chance to think about something that you strongly believe. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess uh, you mind telling me a little bit more about this? Why did you come into this belief, or how did you get to here? Well, I grew up in a family of people who were deeply religious. Okay. And they were also innately good teachers. Oh, really? Neither one of them was a certified teacher, but they taught Sunday school, and uh, my dad coached. And anything they did, they were all about, what can we do to help develop whoever it is we're working with? Okay. Uh, they worked with... Uh, interracial churches and help developing their Sunday school teachers capability. This is a long sure. time ago down in Texas, way before you were born. Okay, okay. And my mother, before she died... How old do I look? How, what's that judgment for? Well, my judgment <laughs> is I'm 70. And you're, okay, okay. That was when I was young. And you're right, no, right. Way, uh, no way are you that age. I appreciate it. Okay, <laughs> okay. I did, you should see what I look like when I don't shave. <laughs> so... Uh, so I was going to say, my mother, uh, who'd studied a little Spanish, worked mm -hmm. at a migrant center where uh, people came up to pick cotton, and she went up there to help them learn English as a second language, okay. and that was when she was in her 60s. Sure. So that's the background I grew up with, mm. and I have a, a degree in English and a minor in education, which I don't really use as a job anymore. But, I, you know, I think everybody needs to develop their capability like you're doing right now with this project. Why do you think that's important? And I normally gently challenge no matter what, okay, whatever you no, want to say. No, that's okay. Like, I, don't, I don't feel that as, as a strong challenge. Why do you think that's important? Because I think there's a lot of bio, neurobiology or cultural, more cultural biology that says this notion of uh, survival of the, of the individual, mm -hmm. there's awful lot of other research that says we don't survive unless we survive collectively. Oh, interesting. Okay. We don't survive unless we survive collectively. Yeah, yeah. Unless unless we survive in community. And okay. I grew up in what started out to be a small town in Dallas and turned into a suburb. Sure. And this whole notion of what is a community uh, is is disappearing. Now, now community is, do you believe the same thing I do? Yeah. That's not what it used to be. Okay. It used to be, we live next door to each other. When it was a small town where I grew up, if you did something wrong... Your parents knew about it before you got home. You know what I'm talking about? So I grew up in a really small city. The Smith, uh, we were military, so we were moving around all yeah. around the place. But I'd often move to a place where we were the only black family in the entire city, town. There you go. And it kept me out of trouble. 
because everybody knew who my mom was. <laughs> yeah. And they'd be like, what's Tyrone doing here? You're supposed to be home, aren't you? Your mom's waiting for you. It's like, oh, yeah. sorry, I was trying to paint a wall. It's like, no, 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 you go home. Yeah. So, yeah, you get that a lot. Yeah. I, now, what branch of the military were you in? So, my mom and dad are both Army. Okay. Uh, I got family in the Navy, Air Force. Uh, I think Marines is the only ones that we aren't in. Well, sort of my family. My dad was in the Navy. My brother was in the Air Force. Hmm. I've got a nephew who's at Fort Bragg right now, though his station is, is Fort Campbell, who's a Black Hawk helicopter pilot. Sure. And, mm-hmm. you know, they've moved around some, and, and the military tries to create community for the people they're moving around all the time, because if you're getting moved, it's hard to make new friends when you're grown up. Are you saying then that people who are living alone, uh-huh. or solitary, or more individual, aren't living to their full potential? And is there any benefit at all to living by yourself, or having a more of a solitary mindset? No, Could that I'm not be healthy necessarily for you? saying that. I live alone, okay. and I've lived alone for a long time, but I have a community. Ah... Uh. Okay. That's interesting. I okay. have a family of choice. I have a family of birth in Texas and uh, North Carolina. Okay. But I have a family of choice here of people that I've known for years. And, okay. You know, if I got sick or years ago I had a friend who had hepatitis C okay. and died in the med center waiting for a liver transplant. We had a care group just like cancer patients do who went over there every day before she went into the hospital. We went to her house every day, prepared meals, helped do all that kind of stuff. Sure. Just like churches do still for many people, but a lot of people are in church these days. Mm. Or they go to a church where where people don't routinely do that kind of stuff. What's your opinion of churches, by the way, or like churches that are out now? (laughs) I think they're the good, the bad, and the ugly. Good. (laughs) You want to explore that real quick? Do I need to say more about that? Yeah, 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 just a little bit. We still got some time. (laughs) All right. I think they do provide a sense of community for a lot of people. Not everybody. There's a lot of churches you go in and nobody is too big. They don't know each other. Yes, you get that a lot too. Um, I grew up in a church that was really heavy on doctrine. So we had the positive side of community, but it, if you didn't follow the doctrine, you were going to hell. Mm. <laughs> That's mm. kind of the negative side. Do you think it would be better to have, for example, in the church that you had just mentioned, mm-hmm. the community outreach presence and maybe less of the doctrine or the doctoral dogmatic approach to like thinking? Like, Do you think they both need to be there, or is one more important than the other? Well, you're asking somebody who's who does not go to that church anymore. Okay, okay. So for me, and you know, this is typical of my generation, I I'm, I'm grew up in the 60s, early 70s, you know, we're more about, we tell you at any rate, we're more about spirituality and the experience of spirituality than we are about the doctrine. Okay, okay. very cool. And I have, uh, you know, I've done some, practiced some meditation and okay. done some other things that are, I mean, I believe that there's something bigger than we are. I believe that there's some way to tap into that. You can do that in music. You can do it in sports. Some people have a Zen experience doing sports. You can do it sitting down and playing a piano. Uh, Anything that takes you out of yourself and gives you the sense that there's something bigger than you are. Is that something bigger, the community, or is it more of like an agent that's like controlling things? I think it's both. Oh man, that's so interesting. And I don't know whether it's controlling, but uh, my sense is that something bigger is whatever the life principle is in the universe. What's what is the, I don't know what that means. What's life principle? Well, in to the me, universe? it means. That Sorry, we are out of time. So anytime you want to go, it's totally fine. Uh, five, but, one, five, you want to do five more? No, I can I can do as much time as you're willing <laughs> no, to give. I need to go. Okay, that's fine. Okay. But life principle of the universe. Could you? Yeah. Well, n- I just I think that? I I don't believe in a totally mechanistic. I don't believe it's just, well, let me start at the beginning. Okay. Um, Whatever is here had to come from somewhere. Okay. Uh, It's hard to imagine coming from somewhere without some sort of first cause. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know it's hard to think that, yeah. Okay. So to me, first cause is that whether it's a being, Mm -hmm. whether it's an entity, an organizing principle, or whatever... Could it be an, uh, It could be, it be God, whatever whatever term you want to use for that. Is it okay if it's something that we just don't know yet? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Whether sure. it's an agent or not an agent? Absolutely. It could just be an unknown? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's sort of like if you go back and, and look at how ancient people described God or mm-hmm. wh- what we thought about how the universe works, they didn't know as much as we do. Right. So they define things differently. Right. We don't have a... We don't have a um, we don't know everything there is to know. No. 
Right. It would be nice if we did. Maybe it's kind of scary. Yeah. Not certainly not as interesting. But, you know, we're still learning, and our whole vision of how the universe works and all that stuff may change. But it, go back to the one principle is yes. I, I work a lot with healthcare, and there's a lot of research that says people who are disconnected, and whether that's living alone or whether you can have a lot of married people that are disconnected, they yes. live in the that's same house and they're not true. connected. Yep. If they are emotionally disconnected, they're more likely to have physical health problems and they're more likely to have mental health problems mm. and they're more likely to die prematurely. Even if they are in the same house, oh, they yeah. can still have that. And that same house can create a lot of stress. Oh, that's true too. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, All right. What a pleasure. Are you taking a course or is this just... It's a personal hobby. Uh, can I ask just one last question? Uh-huh. Before? So in, with regard to like the life principle and like the meditate... Okay, so just quick summary. I think it's really cool how you have like this... Um, uh, motivating belief that makes you want to go out and help people and like connect mm-hmm. to each other and that this idea of like this greater community that you can like tap into and get energy from mm-hmm. that's really really inspiring I hope you keep that up thank and you very much you want to take a picture of the setup <laughs> yes is that, is that okay yeah go ahead I'm, I'm vacating this chair <laughs> he's not trying to convince you to do anything he's just uh-uh. he's not no we just had a chat now <laughs> <laughs> if you sit in I'll take Picking up lots of girls over there. No, no, no. No, it was a fun conversation. Yeah, you can talk about anything you want. Not a problem. I didn't even get your name. I feel so bad. Judy. Judy? Judy, I'm tying this.